Hi there, welcome to another episode of Men Are So Smart, talking about the Fen treasure today and addressing some of our Fen mail. Before we get to, oh, I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And before I get to that, a couple of things I wanted to mention to you. Um, we see all of the comments uh, that you guys leave for us underneath the videos. We take them pretty seriously. Uh, some we look at and we talk about and you know, we may make a change here and there, or we might not. Um, but see, here's the thing I wanted you to understand is there's more to our lives than just, and this show, than just defend treasure. Right. And we do shows on all kinds of different topics. Uh, how to know you're eating at a bad restaurant. Uh, what are some other ones, Ronnie? The fart show. Oh, yeah. And we do shows that are about men's stuff for men. And women seem to like it. And we appreciate you ladies for watching the show. Um, but see, this show is done for entertainment purposes. Yeah. Uh, someone said in a comment, you guys still haven't read the books. Okay, fine. Is that to say that we haven't studied the videos uh, or learned from comments or emails that we get? Of course we do. We learn right. stuff. We have insight that you may not even have that we can't share because we've acquired that information confidentially. Uh, and you'll never know until someone eventually finds a treasure and comes on our program. Well, and I think if you are out there, boots on the ground looking for the treasure, you should be reading the books. Yeah. We are not that person. Mm -mm. We're not boots on the ground. Mm -mm. Uh, this is as much into the search of it as we're getting. Someone asked me, Ron, or, or someone said or suggested that I should apologize, or we should apologize to Mr. Finn because we may have misspoke by stating that the books were not very well written. You know, that's kind of subjective. Right. Um, it's different for everybody, and if Mr. Fenn was offended by that, then certainly we do apologize. No, we have not read the books. Nope. Uh, but we're going to bring you information that we learn as we learn it. And I have seen him tell somebody that was interviewing him that he's not highly educated. Mm -hmm. So, formally highly educated you can be smart without having gone to college. Mm -hmm. So I think he said at one point he attended Texas A&M for four days <laughs> until he found out it was kind of expensive. Yeah, and then he snuck out through a fence. <laughs> yes. <laughs> See, so, we, we do. We know these little things. Right. right? We, we saw that video. Someone sent it to us, and sure, we watched it. You bet. So that's And fun. it was a great interview, and we'll get to yeah. more of that in a moment. All yeah. right. Um, so back to our comments. Uh, first of all, from Big Whoopi. Goldberg? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, and big. by the way, before I get to Big Whoopi, yeah. <laughs> there's some question, not necessarily Mitzi. Did you see that yes. comment? No, I don't think I did. Is not Mitzi. It's a man. So Well, it, we we think. No, we're sure now. I I'm oh, sure. Are you? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. I think they corrected us. Somebody corrected us. Because I was kind of leaning that way last week when I pointed out my suspicions to yeah. you. So which, we're not fine. necessarily men. Yeah. I mean, we're not necessarily smart. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, end of show. No, uh, we have more to get to. <laughs> Big Whoopi says, great video, guys. I've always wanted to know what genre of music Forrest Fenn listens to. What's his go-to music or song when he relaxes. See, Ooh. the reason that Whoopi's asking this question is because we said that we want to interview Mr. Fenn, uh, but not in such a way that we're trying to provoke him to give us any clues. We want to know more about him and what makes him tick. Right. And so uh, with Big Whoopi's comment, I wanted you to know, Ronnie, that I went ahead and did some research on this. Oh, yeah. yes. What's he into? Uh, well, I have uh, Forrest Fenn's top Five favorite Fen songs. Fen related songs. Are you oh, ready? Yes. Okay, here we go. Whoops, okay. I think I opened the wrong thing. Number five. Uh oh. <laughs> this is not good. Number five. Can't touch this. Hammer time. <laughs> I think he's talking about the treasure. That makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, number four. Rocky Mountain Way, Joe Walsh. Oh, I, yeah. Um, I'm right with Fen on that one. Number three. I still haven't found what I'm looking for. You too. <laughs> And number two, 
ACDC for those about to rock. Of course. And finally, finally, the number one favorite song, I Know You're Out There Somewhere, Moody Blues. Ah. Uh, so there you go. I do love that song. Top five. Way. All right. Uh, Ronnie, some comments. All right. So this is from Tony Driver. And Tony, in one of his comments, had was one kind of wondering who it might be the type of person that would find the treasure and if it would even be 100% sure that it would be a uh, somebody that was actually searching for it. As opposed to someone that would stumble across it? C correct. Okay. Now, he was very, he was kind of adamant uh, that it would not be somebody that's not searching for it. But I said, you know, what if it is? Um, where, where is it exactly? Um uh, what if it is someone that's not looking for the treasure, they just stumbled upon it? He goes, uh, yes, you probably, oh, well, and he was saying he edited his report, uh, his post, and then I'm probably replying to the original post, but nobody will stumble upon it ever. Impossible. Your feelings? I think somebody could. You know, if, if people are out there and just wandering around, and maybe this is not in an area that... People wander much, but there's there's a 50-50 chance, at least, that somebody's going to kick over a rock, and there it is. Yeah. 50-50? So 50-50, it's going to rain tomorrow. Good point. We, uh, before we get back to more comments here, we are in touch with somebody right now who's boots on the ground. Yes. Um, and that person just sent us video of them... Uh, escaping extremely inclement weather yep. and canceling the rest of their BOTG. Yep. Uh, and it's kind of funny what he said, huh? Yes. He left just in time. Yeah, because <laughs> it, it was snowing. And there was snow stacked on the side of the road. Oh, yeah. Uh, so no one's going to... Eh, I can't say that. God dang it. No one's going to find it right now with the weather so. that it I don't is. Think so. It's just impossible. Yep. Uh, this person says that they're leaving um, and they will come back in a month or two. And the exact spot where they believe the, tr the treasure to be is under a six foot snowbank. Yep. So there you go. All right. Ron Davis. Uh -huh. And I'm not sure where. Did we talk about women at all in the Finn episode last week at all? Oh, no. I. I think that's something else. Well, Ron Davis says women's faults are many, but men only have two. Everything they say and everything they do. That's got a little cute poem. Yeah. Everything they so say and everything that's, they do. I think that comes straight from my wife. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> um, music lyrics. Uh, always good comments. Uh, he, he writes or she writes, Hello, Forrest Fenn. I like your latest writings. I hope to be able to see my son Joshua later this summer. I had to have him adopted out when he was just an infant. I think that Ronnie is the lead searcher. 1227 in the video. Wow. All right. Uh, that was Forrest Fenn, Fenn Mail from 412. But Lou looks like he kind of suspects Ronnie. But Ronnie <laughs> brushes it off with Biggest Loser. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But I wrote back to uh, Music Lyrics. You crack me up. Here's what goes on behind the scenes. So it's just so you know, when Ronnie and I are shooting the show, both Ronnie and I have trouble even getting out of our chairs to get up and turn the camera off, right. <laughs> <laughs> and let alone go searching for a hidden treasure. If my six pack is behind the milk jug in the refrigerator, I consider that hidden treasure. <laughs> and tonight, I'm boots on the ground. <laughs> Uh, Jason Northface. I promised I'd say hi to Jason. Hey, buddy. Thank Shout you for your, uh, your your comments. Yep. I really like your show, but you said to be honest. <laughs> okay, I get it. Wow, well, okay. No, you guys are great. Just yep. don't turn into the rest. And so my reply was, thanks for watching, buddy. I'm not sure exactly what you mean by turning into the rest. But I think that Ronnie and I do a show that is just unique enough. Do you know what I mean? We'll just keep doing us and hope you like it. Have you subscribed yet? We'd love that. We tape tomorrow and we'll say hi to you, Jason. Just there you kidding. go. All right. And Jason also throws out another comment uh, just actually about 16 hours ago. 
that he's gearing up. He's getting ready for the Forrest Fenn interview. Oh, for that so, we're going to do? Yeah, so he's excited about yeah. that. Uh, you know what? Speaking of that, I have not replied to Mr. Fenn. I know. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's hard to... What do you say to that? I know. I mean, I know. yeah. If you got an email from Jesus, what would you say to Jesus? <laughs> That's... Kind of the same thing. He's, he's not going to travel to us, Ronnie. If no. We, I believe he will do an interview with us. Yeah. But we got to go there. I'm willing. You know. Yeah. So. Um, okay, Sledneck. Sledneck is a guy who I would say is still on the fence with us. Yeah. About us. He's not really sure. No. He says, fellas. Fellas. He's breaking it down. Come on, folks. Please listen. Three memoirs. Hundreds of scrapbooks. Hours and hours of recorded interviews exist. Only one short chapter is about the poem. The rest is all stories from his life. Everything Lou stated he wants to know is in the material available to all of us. Just do the damn research already and leave the fella alone. Well, you know, we do take some of these comments to heart. Right. right. And I understand what Sledneck is saying, and I really do. Um, I truly believe that if we were to do an interview with Mr. Forrest Fenn, it would be unlike all of the other interviews that he's done before. And I cited an example of one of our videos that we did where we interviewed Pat Walsh. Oh, yeah. Who's the, the talk show guy uh, on... KFBK in here in Sacramento mm -hmm. <clears throat> and uh, we asked him a series of questions that were really hilarious yep. caught uh, him off guard a couple yeah, times oh sure yep. yeah. and um, I, I, that's the kind of interview that I like to do not to catch him off guard necessarily but to make him laugh a little bit right. and just enjoy a couple of guys sitting around maybe even have a beer with us wouldn't yeah. that be cool Yeah. what'd you do yesterday dad huh. I had a beer with Forrest Fan. Yeah. yeah just a regular day yep so, uh, Sledneck, we understand what you're saying, buddy. Um, West Guy Tass, T-A-S, and I got into it a little bit. Um, and he sent me a link to a video. I did, I, I honestly, I, I thought it was just spam, and I didn't look at it. So, he says, at Gallagher Entertainment, did you at least watch it before you deleted it? No. Mm. Probably not. Um, and at that point, I said to him, deleted what? I don't even know what you're talking about. Because <laughs> I really didn't. I thought it was spam. And he says, um, Lou, it was not a spam link, but you do you. Okay. All right. I see the main difference between you and other YouTube channels taking up the fen hunt is that you two are simply doing the subject matter as it gets the most views for your channel. You have consistently avoided doing your homework taken the side of someone who has accused the man of fraud without proof, and now you just want that next scoop for content. If Forrest answers one single email question from you, you should be thankful, as that is more than some are getting nowadays. Hey, we're thankful. Uh, you know, I wrote back... Um, oh, shoot, I'm sorry. Uh, are you kidding me? I was on my lunch break from work, and my Gmail notification went off. I thought, great, what's this going to be? And it was a reply from Mr. Finn. <laughs> now, I said, I've interviewed some pretty famous people, but I never expected to hear from him. I loved his reply. Lou, what do you want from me? <laughs> Ronnie and I talked about this last Saturday and wondered if he knew who we were uh, or if he knew our show. Honestly, I still haven't replied to him. It's like I'm afraid to him. And um, West Guide says, you should take that excitement you feel and channel into researching the things he has said and been asked so that if you do get the chance with him uh, to chat with him, it might be original content. Very nice. That's fine. You know, yeah. we'll agree to disagree. And, yeah. um, it's all good. I think we would do a fantastic show with Forrest Fenn. Yeah. And I think he would have a great time and it would come through the video. You know what? I want to read an email that I got from Bill Gorman. I don't know if you saw this one. It no. was sent to my Men Are So Smart email. Uh, it's called Forrest Fenn Masonic Handoff. 
Okay. Okay. Are you piqued my curiosity? Yes. So I'll just read it word for word here up front. Mm -hmm. uh, Ronnie, comma, I've told you guys it's over. At Fenbury 2017, I was asked if I wanted my picture with Forrest by his security chief. He used my phone. I was wondering where Forrest was. And when I turned around, snap went the camera. Notice the George Washington hand gesture while doffing his hat. He, he sent me a couple pictures on this. Oh, you need to send them to me. So yeah. I can show. And so what this is, it's the kind of famous picture of George Washington with his hand out. And basically he's handing over the country to the next, to the people. Okay, so that's that's what that references. Uh, the only catch is the title to the gold comes in his will. He covets the treasure. It is until he passes away. Oh, it, it is his until he passes away. This is the George Washington portrait, portrait he had in his gallery. It shows George handing the nation over to the people. I had brought the Buffalo Cowboys Model A cow to the Fenbury that I thought uh, that I found in the woods by following his poem. You have to be brave to lasso that buffalo and ride in that car with Skippy. And that's from Bill Gorman. So I haven't answered Bill just yet. I just got this the other day. But you know, and Bill is, he's convinced the treasure's gone. Um, I'm not sure. I think he's still kind of out there. Boots on the ground though. So he's convinced, but not 100%. Uh, and Bill, I, you know what? I respect the fact that you're out there looking for it because, like I said, it's something Lou and I won't do. But there have been several assurances by Forrest that it's there. Um, oh, 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 you know what people ask, though, Ronnie? Is there a way that Forrest Fenn knows it's there other right. than from searchers telling him right. that they've been close to it. Well, and that's that's obviously the key. And it's, I, I think that he, there's something that is out there that he knows it's still there. And I'm not sure how he knows it's still there, but he still feels it there. Uh, and the picture, this is kind of the tie-in with the George Washington picture, is when... Um, Bill had his picture taken with Forrest Fenn. He's kind of turning around and just kind of glances in the direction of Forrest Fenn. Forrest Fenn has one hand on his hat and the other hand is like the George Washington handoff of the country. To so, Bill? To Bill. So he's saying basically, yeah, the, here is my, you know, here's my treasure. Uh, and like I said, Bill is kind of still Bill and I are really not on speaking terms anymore Ronnie oh so that's probably why it just came to me yeah yeah <laughs> uh, uh, that's okay because you know what I defended him to a lot of people yep. in the beginning and and then he crossed me and then so that's it uh, anon anon look you guys seem decent enough thank you we got him fooled <laughs> however I'm quite surprised Forrest responded to you do to the way you both trashed his writings, despite never reading any of it. Yet, he is still gracious enough to offer you some answers. In my opinion, you guys should personally apologize on your show for saying those things about his writing. Well, I did earlier in the program. I mean, come on, you didn't even read it. There's no justification for what you all said. As far as Treasure Tracer, that's the video that we talked about being in front of the green screen that's disappeared. Right. Uh, it's my opinion he came on to try to get some crowdfunding for his searches, couldn't get any, so he bailed. He even had a paid ad for his video. Later, have a good weekend. And on and on. <laughs> Likes you, then he doesn't. Off and on, off and on, off and on. Yeah, it's almost like it's different people writing it every yeah. week. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, point Vlog, right on spot with your video, man. We want more of Forrest Fenn, even more than his treasure. Uh, will it be found, and where, and by whom, and when? While Forrest Fenn is here, we just need to teach, I mean, reach him. Thinking, hustling, creating, impressing, strong, warrior, art dealer, collector of historical facts, storyteller, 
and loving father and husband. Also, the people involved with the Forest Fen treasure in one way or the other are also remarkable. Maybe they do not even realize it. Yep. Hey, this one is a fresh reply. Okay. Jason North Face, again, uh -huh. shout out. Obsessed with the hunt. Your show so far has been uh, in any escape from the other four uh, fan content. I like your unbiased approach. The fact that you don't try to lead the masses is what I appreciate. I hope Forrest Fenn makes it on your show. So do we. Um, that would be fun. I'll be watching. Thanks both you guys because us men are so smart. Your show is my man cave in the hunt. So I'm, I'm kind of be, becoming a big fan of Jason. Um, point point blog, uh, vlog, excuse me, uh, prompted me to write back to them. And I said, thank you. I think your comment is well stated. We have a lot of critics. When I click on their YouTube pages, I mostly find zero videos and zero subscribers. <laughs> uh, they are not creative content makers or influencers or anything, except quick to judge. Ron and I put out stuff three times a week. If we only cared about views and not content, we would only do fan shows. Some people say that we should do more research, only live their lives for this treasure. We do a show for men. Women seem to like it too. Ronnie is funny, and I'm unmistakably charming. Well, hmm. it's our channel. We do what we want. Watch it and enjoy it for the entertainment and comedy, or don't. Or not. Sorry for the rant, Point Vlog. We appreciate you. Thank you. And yep. we appreciate each and every one of your comments. And that's why we like to share them here. Share a little information, some thoughts on the topic, new information, whatever comes across our desk. That If you're commenting on our page, Ronnie, then we have permission to use your words. Yep. And, and, and gladly we do. And we hope that you'll watch. It's kind of a, it's nice to give a little shout out to some of the people that are actually supporting the show. Mm -hmm. Hey, this one is one hour ago. Okay from uh, Richard Cron, who's a, he's posted on here, replied s numerous times to All our right. things. Uh, and he says, a few days ago, Dal posted a Forest Gets Mail a video, which featured a touching story, along with Fenn's assurance that the chest is still out there. Bill, uh, given his tendency to embellish and the odd time of year to receive such correspondence, I think it's reasonable to question the veracity of it all. Uh, and Fenn has commented more than once about the value of advertising. In his message, he speaks of uh, byproducts of the search coming from numerous directions. I would say that the chase has been an ongoing boon to general exposure and tourism for his home state due to those who buy products. So he's saying buy products first time and then B-U-Y products mm -hmm. the second time. Uh, I'm still not convinced that Forrest knows the status of the gold and jewels, but I have to agree the spiritual treasure remains to be found. So, again, a little skeptical, but he, I think, is leaning to the fact that mm, it's, it may be out there, but this now is not the time of year to go looking for to it. To be sure. I'll tell you what, Ronnie, let's wrap up with this one, okay, for this week. Uh, this is from Joe John. He says, in reference to uh, another show, Guys, don't apologize about your comments on a Gypsy's Kiss. They have lost their mojo and are just trying to make a buck. Serious searchers only study Forrest's work, not AGK personal perspectives. Keep up the good times. Please don't implement background music like AGK in your shows and start moving around like the gopher in Caddyshack. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, I want to know how they get away with running music. Yeah, what's up with that? We can on there. You're not licensed for that, or, yeah. or maybe they are, and we don't know. Very strange. But I will tell you this: I did watch one of their videos. <laughs> I promised I was going to do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Stop. <laughs> it's very distracting. Sorry. Awkward. <laughs> So I watched one of their very latest videos, yes. and <clears throat> and my biggest thing was that the first one that I watched, I saw no fan content at all, mm -hmm. uh, and it was a lot of 
they were responding to their viewers because they were live streaming. Mm -hmm. And so I get that. You have to you have to support the people that are supporting you. Sure. But this last video I watched, which which was just released maybe this this last week, they cut straight to the Fen content. <laughs> so I'm wondering if maybe they're they're watching our show a little bit yeah. too. And maybe, yeah. Hi hey, Toby. Hey, Toby. Hi Shelly. Uh how you doing? <laughs> So maybe they took it to heart if they're listening, and maybe the one show I watched was just a fluke, a, a total fluke where they really didn't get too much fan content. And this time of year, there's not a lot of fan content to be had out yeah. there. So, so why not do a Miss Piggy joke, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what T Brown says. <laughs> I've been waiting for a Miss Piggy joke. I guess you got it. Here's yeah. one. Why can't Miss Piggy hold down a relationship, Ron? I don't know why. Because she's afraid of commitment. Ruh-ro. <laughs> <Kermit. laughs> I only uh, know dirty Miss Piggy jokes. Well, we don't, we're not yeah. going Okay, that's going to wrap up this episode. We hope you've had some fun with us and sharing some of these comments, and we love them. We really do. Yep. And, and you know, the fact that we respond with more than two words <laughs> right, <laughs> goes to show you that we do take the time to read them and respond. Yep. And so please, uh, by all means, keep sending the comments. And if for whatever reason you'd like to communicate with either one of us or both, uh, we have email addresses for that that you see on the screen. And um, you can get us there. Uh, you know what? I'd say we get back to you probably within 12 hours, maybe 24 hours, if not sooner. Yeah. Uh, you know, it just depends on what's going on. Yep. Uh, so there you have it. Subscribe to our show. We really need you to subscribe to the show. And while you're at it, Tell some friends about it. Yeah. Share it. Get the word out. Okay, please. Share it on your social media. Share it on whatever it might be, but share it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Click the bell. That way you get notifications each time a new show comes out. That's about all we have on the Fen Treasure this week. Yep. I'm Luke Gallagher. I'm Corvette Ronnie. And we'll see you next time on Men Are So Smart. Bye.